I've been meaning to do this video about lender mortgage modification scams. Please, please do not believe your mortgage company when they tell you they can modify your mortgage, lower the rate, possibly lower the payment, and you won't be responsible for any of those arrearages that you have gone for months, possibly even years, not making payments. Yes, they tell you, we're going to tack it on to the end of the loan and we're going to lower your payment, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't happen. Okay. That doesn't happen. They actually, they do add a ton of fees that are in some cases in a lawsuit right now, mortgage companies adding erroneous fees during a modification that they inappropriately added that they said they wouldn't add during the time that things were being worked out. So the moment that you stop making payments, your credit will reflect a late payment. It is not guaranteed if you decide to stop making payments, if you do anything where you don't make payments. So if you lose a job, then you just lose your job. You can't make payments, right? You're gonna try to modify or do whatever you can to stay in your home. But if you do stop making payments and you think that during modification that your credit is not being affected, it is. And what they do is they take, let's just say eight months where you haven't made payments. And sure, yes, they tack it on to the end of the loan when the modification is fully approved. Okay, until then, they're just sitting there being late, late, late. The other thing is, let's just say you try for a year like most homeowners and the modification does not go through because if they do not see that you have a job that can fully support either, either the modified payment or maybe the original payment, then they will deny you. If you have had um, two incomes and now one income, they will probably deny you. If they do not see an improved situation, they will probably deny you. And the thing is, all this time, your mortgage is late. Your credit is going down. So you can't, I know people think I'm in your, I'm in a modification. I think, you know what? I'm just going to sell the house and I'm going to go buy a house. Well, now you can't buy. You cannot buy a house now because mortgage companies, when you go to buy a home, they'll pull your credit and they'll say, oh, wow, you've had, you've had three 90 day lates and six 30 day lates and a bunch of 60 day lates and you're currently late. So until you have 12 months of no lates, you're on your credit and your credit has improved. No lender is going to give you a loan. Now, someone might see this video and say, well, I know a lender that'll give me a loan if I'm late. That's great. But I'm telling you that 99.9% .9 of them will not, especially government backed loans, which are um, FHA loans, VA loans. If you do a conventional, they're still going to want you to be current. They're not going to want you to have a bunch of 30, 60, 90 day lates. It, one mortgage late is like taking all your credit cards and being late for like three months. It's just really, really negative, but you can come back from it. You can come back from it. Just 12 months of being on time and you can buy. So if you're in the middle of a modification and you're thinking while I'm in modification, I think I'm just going to not make my payment. You will show late payments on your credit report. Do not fall into the mortgage modification scam mortgage company, legit mortgage companies, scamming homeowners into believing that they are going to be perfectly fine, have no credit hit, and just roll all this extra money you haven't paid to the end. It's not going to work like that. So I just want to warn people, if you want to know more, I also do a podcast where I like get into stories, legit, brutally honest stories of what's going on right now in Northern Virginia. If you have any comments about, you know, someone, friend, family, or yourself that is dealing with a situation like this, comment below. I would love to help in any way I can. But again, I do and am only working in Virginia, so I, I can't say what's happening in other states or I can't say like how to react. But mortgage companies pretty much serve multiple states. So the pre it's pretty standard what they're doing. And most of it the is scamming.